Happy Wednesday morning, September 2nd, 2009. No need for me to give you extra energy to wake up. I'm sure many of us, particularly along US Highway 75, have been up for a while because of this guy out here. A terrible thunderstorm this morning. Not severe that I can't stress enough. They're not severe, but just what a lightning show this morning in our Capitol Federal Sky Cam. That's what we do here in Channel 49. We use those sky cams to show you what's going on outside weather wise and well, plenty of lightning out there. Wow, look at that and let's take a look at Titan Doppler 49 to confirm what we're seeing in those sky cams. Well, is it real? Oh yeah, look at the flashing here. Again, these storms not severe. They're the garden variety thunderstorms and even those garden variety storms folks can be dangerous. Lightning is the number two severe weather related hazard in anywhere along US Highway 75 down towards the I-35 corridor. That's a very dangerous zone right now. If you're heading off to work, heading off to school, pay extra attention outside or Fido. If he wants to go out for a walk, say, well, go outside, do your business, get back in the house. We've had over 3200 Lightning strikes just in the last hour with this line of storm stretching from Oval say Topeka south and east down into portions of Franklin and Anderson counties. They're rolling off slowly to the south and towards east. Again, that's the story of the day. Well, that's why we're spending a lot of time on it. There will be more storms in the forecast, and I do have a blog shortly that's going to pop up on KTK.com discussing some of the dangers of lightning. You need to wait about 30 minutes before you step outside or use those electrical appliances after that last rumble of thunder. Hey, those rumblers out there, they've got some clouds with it. They're helping hold the temperatures up into the lower 60s out there, folks. And the showers and storms should start to clear out as we head later into your Wednesday, at least according to the Trivia weather model. But as we go again into later Wednesday night, going into Thursday, a few more of those rumblers about not looking at severe weather, but some of the garden variety storms. And again, those storms can produce that dangerous lightning out there, folks. 76, a few of those showers and storms, not the day to be out at Melbourne Lake at by all means at 75. A cool day. We're still going to be below normal temperature wise, but just warm enough to punch out a few of those storms as we get a little kick in the atmosphere to help build up some of those storms. 59 tonight, a few more of those rumblers out there. Looks like the best chances of storms should start to shut down as we head towards your Friday. A little drier weather as we head towards the weekend. And boy, I think we'll need it here. And hopefully we get some better sleep as we head towards the weekend. Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated with regards to those storms.